Hi, I'm Casey. And I'm Trevor. And today we're going to be showing you how to do an electrocardiogram, also known as the EKG. So the EKG is a really great way, um, it's a really great tool to use for um, identifying common heart arrhythmias within individuals. Despite the fact that it's called a 12 lead EKG placement, it actually only consists of 10 electrodes. Um, first things first, before applying the electrodes, you always want to go ahead and start off by cleaning the skin. If the individual has a lot of hair, like myself, um, you do want to be sure to go ahead and shave those areas just so they don't cause any pain or anything like that whenever they're removing the electrodes. Um, when beginning the electrode placement, you want to start from the outside, from the limbs, and we're going to work our way in. So the first one will be the arms. I'll start with the right arm, placing this first electrode right there on the bicep. If your client um, is a little bit larger or maybe a paraplegic, you can also place this, these two arm limbs right here on the shoulders. Next, I will do the leg limbs. Also, if your client is the same condition as before, you can place them right here on the hip. Now that we have finished the limb leads, we will start with the V leads. The first one we will start with is on the right, fourth intercostal space, approximately there. Then the V2 will go on the fourth left intercostal space. We will skip V3 and go to V4, which is on the fifth intercostal space. We will come back to V3 now, which is directly in between V2 and V4. Now we will skip V5 and go to V6, which is right here directly under the armpit at about the fifth intercostal space again. And then V5 will be right in between V4 and V6. Once you have correctly placed all of your electrodes, we will now hook them up to the leads. Starting on the right side of the body, this group right here, RA stands for right arm, and RL stands for right leg. Then B1, B2, and B3. Then we will go to the left side of the body, there. left arm, LL for left leg, V4, V5, And the last one, B6. Now when you hook your individual up to the EKG machine, you will be notified if any of these leads are connected to the wrong electrode. It'll show an error and then you know to start over. After you um, hook up your 12 lead EKG placement and you hook it up to your machine, you're going to get a reading that looks very similar to this. Um, now keep in mind this is just a um, very enlarged small portion of your reading but if you look at it closely this is what you're going to see. So first off this point right here is going to represent the P wave. Uh, now the P wave is actually going to symbolize the atria contracting. So following your P wave we're going to come down here to your Q, R, and S complex. 
Now, what that is going to represent is going, um, it's going to represent ventricular depolarization as well as contraction. Then we have our T wave, which represents ventricular repolarization. Atrial repolarization is actually lost here in the QRS complex. Finally, we have the U wave, which represents the recovery of the Purkinje fibers, which is also not always observable. Another function of the EKG is to determine heart rate by looking at the R waves on a six second strip. So if you count the R waves, in this six seconds, we have one, two, three, four R waves. If you multiply that by 10, you would get a resting heart rate of 40 beats per minute. That would then be classified as sinus brachycardia because it is less than 60 beats per minute instead of sinus tachycardia, which is greater than 100 beats per minute. All right, guys, so thank you so much uh, for watching our video. Um, hope you guys learned a lot about the 12 lead EKG placement. Again, my name is Trevor. And I'm Casey. Thank you guys so much. Hope you have a great day.